So today is going to be a empties video. I'm really excited to just get these out of my house to be honest. I feel like it's not as full as normal but I feel like it's still full enough to do a video. So we're just going to crack on with it and you can tell me if it's longer than normal, vice versa, things like that. I'll tell you things that I think you should purchase or what I think is worth purchasing. And I'll have links down below to the things that I would definitely recommend to use if there if there's links available. So we'll just get cracking. It's no shape way, no, no way shape in order. <laughs> this is in no particular order. That's it. I got there in the end. This is in no particular order. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go through it as I grab it out. So we've got the cushions, Carex Fun Edition drumstick squashies shower and bubble bath. This was very nice. It smelled really nice. Um, it's not something I would purchase again, but it's smelled nice enough. Um, I'm just using everything I've got, but it was nice. I just don't think it would be something I picked, you know, but it was nice still. I still liked it. If I got it again, I wouldn't be upset with it. I just think, like, I'd rather have my marshmallow one, you know. Um, no, but it was nice, and I did enjoy using it, so I might pick it up again. I don't know where I'm going with that. It's a bubble bath. It was nice, and it's probably a budget bubble bath. Um, we've got the Chronix Firm Hold Hairspray. Now, I think this is from Tesco's. It was alright. I don't know if I would get it again. I'm actually on the hunt for a good hairspray that I like, and I have still haven't found one. I do like L'Oreal hairspray, the L'Oreal one. Um, yeah, but I don't know if I love it. But I know they do different types, but yeah, I'm just, I'm on the hunt. This is even an Aldi one or a Tesco one, but yeah, I wouldn't rush out and get it. I love this stuff. This is probably one of my favourite shower gels, if not my favourite shower gel for its price point. I just love the smell of it. I love the way it makes my skin feel. I know it says men, but does that really matter? Um, but yeah, it's got soothing and bamboo extract in. No dry skin. Feel I have dry skin, so I do feel like this really helps with not dry skin. But I will say sometimes... Um, Actually, I was going to say it, it has got like that manly smell, but I really quite like the smell of it. So, yeah, I don't know where I was going to say go up with that one. But, yeah, I just love this stuff. And it definitely would be something I would purchase again. Um, we've got the Bondi Sands, the Australian Tan, Aero Tan. This is probably one of my favourite tans I've used in a long time. Now, I'm a big St. Tropez girl. I, I liked every St. Tropez tan I've tried. But this doesn't have a shade. I don't think it does, anyways. I got this in the advent calendar, and then I repurchased this. Or my friend Sarah got me this because she knew I liked it that much when I got it in the advent calendar. One of the two. Um, but I just really like it. I love the shade it gives me because I'm very pale. It doesn't go too dark. It doesn't, and it's very rare. It looks patchy because it doesn't go too dark. I just really like it. Definitely one that I think I would get again. I really would like to try more from Bondi's hands. Another fake tan thing is the Visage Tan. This is the Gradual Glow Face Tanning Spray. I got this this year. My mum got me this and I've used it all up this year. It's got like the tiniest little sprays left, but it's at that point where it's spraying and it's like squirting, so it's leaving like drops. So it's um, not a, like it's not giving me a smooth enough finish to use that tiny little mountain, which annoys me because it's so wasteful. But yeah, really like this. I, I've used the same trapez mist and everything like that. They're all around this, like the same, but I did really like this. Would I get it again? Probably not. And only because, not because I didn't like it or anything like that. It's just, it's not like on like Look Fantastic or anything. You've got to go on their actual website to get it. That's the only reason because I really liked it and the packaging was nice and everything like that, you know. I try to keep fake tan in their packet box because I feel like fake tan stains your drawers. I was just saying if I had any more fake tan, I can't see any. Um, so next we've got the Feather and Down Sweet Dreams Melting Shower Cream. Now I love the Feather, I love the Feather and Down um, like spray. I think that's probably my favourite like pillow spray. But this Melting Shower Cream was lovely on the skin, felt lovely on the skin. I don't think it smells the same as this spray in my opinion. It was nice enough but I definitely prefer the spray to this cream. Then we've got the misguided bubble bath. Now I think this set me up. I think this like made me sore. Um, yeah so I wouldn't purchase this again and I wouldn't get it as gifts for people and things like that. Cause, yeah I just feel like it was so highly fragranced it wasn't very good for you. So yeah and I've got like dry skin you don't know and certain things do set it off and I feel like this was one of them. So yeah. 
it smelled lovely next we've got the sticky date shower gel now this was a little sample thing i got i think i got in my avant calendar last year off my friend sarah so it's probably not in the best like like because i know you don't get as long with lush stuff um, but it was really nice and it smells lovely and if it's a Christmas scent it's definitely something I'm going to look for this year really liked it and I've never really tried Lush shower gels this was like really creamy a lot nicer than Snow Fairy in my opinion um, right this is a pack of cotton rounds um, I don't know if you can see now I've been using a retinol now I feel like I always blame my reusable cotton rounds when my face skin starts. But I don't know if you can see what's going on here. Now I try and use my retinol because I've been using retinol lately like under this area and I try to leave it like out obviously avoid the eye area. Now I don't know whether I've went a bit high with my retinol or it's my reusable cotton rounds and I just need to bin them. But I'm getting this unusualness here. In here, so I did buy mainly here though, like it's like my skin is peeling, so I feel like it could be the retinol, but at first I wasn't sure. Um, so I did buy some cotton rounds, um, yeah, from Poundland for that reason. I do use my reusable cotton rounds all the time, but sometimes I just feel like I need a normal cotton round, especially when my skin starts, and I have to have them for nails and things like that, for nail polishes and stuff, but yeah. I could actually put the ones that I've got by myself all new ones and use them ones for my own nail polish. Maybe that's what I might do. But yeah, I did buy some cotton rounds. Um, the Rituals Ritual of Karma Mailed Body Scrub Paste. Mm, I don't want to say nasty things about Rituals because I love Rituals, but this just wasn't my favourite. I wasn't keen on the paste type effect either. The Colgate Max White Luminous. Honestly, I'm just going to bite the bullet and I'm going to bloody white my teeth again. Um, I did use these as well. The Spotlight Oral Care. I really like these. I'm seeing this as my teeth are staying to hell. This box was in like, the back of my cupboard and I hadn't whitened my teeth in ages. So don't judge these poor whiteners just by the state of my teeth now. I found this in the back of my bathroom cupboard and I was like, oh yeah i need to wipe my teeth because these were used like when i got them which was christmas time um and then the colgate max white i definitely like this toothpaste but i definitely just feel like i need something more we've got a little sticker this was um like a soap with a scrub from the range i feel like my back's killing sitting yeah um, you know like people sit with their back like be straight i'm just i've got such bad posture i feel like i need a back posture thing this was nice enough but anyways i i know i go on a tangent i'm so sorry i am so sorry this is who i am this is who i am right we got this little orange zesty soap thing it has like a loofah in it it's all right i don't wouldn't get it i've had stuff from like tales of toria and um, relax and style like this style product and i prefer them from like homemade brands than that that was the soap is just a, a lot harder in that sort of brand it lasts you longer i suppose but just a lot harder um right we have got the silver silver medium hold this is number five hair so i did quite like this i think i got this in the advent calendar too here i wonder what we're gonna get in this year's advent calendars i'm so excited so excited um yeah i like this i actually would probably purchase this as well depending on the price we've got this bye bye milk melt vegan oat milk cleanser this was really nice and gentle on your face i don't think it'd be one that i purchased myself but if i got it again i would really like it my lovely friend sharon actually sent me this and it was really nice and gentle on the face especially around the eye area as well um yeah but i feel like maybe this brand's pricey i honestly don't know um, but yeah, I like the texture. I actually really like this on my legs for shaving and all because it was so creamy on my face I was like, oh, I wonder what that would be like Of shaving on my legs and I did I liked it. Um, yeah, I think I liked it more shaving my legs it was So creamy and so nice Um, but probably a bit too expensive to use on your legs, but it was a really nice cleanser really nice We've got the Locatan lavender foaming bath milk bath milk foam and bath oh beautiful beautiful like next level luxury oh oh it smells gorgeous i never used to like lavender my nana's loved lavender and you know what i'm totally a lavender convert as i feel like my nana's come in me and says right you're gonna have to like lavender now 
for our family. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, I just love lavender. Like, I really love lavender now, and I could not stand it. So, if you were one of them people, like, oh, I can't use pillow mist, I don't like the smell of lavender. I gradually built myself up, and now I love it. Like, I can't believe I love lavender. Yeah, I just love it. Oh my god, I'd have my house smell of it. I've actually got two lavender plants now. I'm going to snip the little bits off and try and make something with them. Um, yeah, love this. This is next level luxury. You need this in your life if you want to have a spa like bath. I definitely would recommend it. I'm getting a phone call. I said this is in no way, shape, or form or order or anything like that. So I've got the Dove Nourishing Secrets Ritual 48 Hour Anti Perspirant. I got this in a gift get set at Christmas. I've just been using it up because. I ran out with my wild deodorant. I need to like do another wild order. Um, I do get some PR PR off them, but I don't get loads of PR off them. Um, yeah, so I, I need to go and do a wild order. So I was using this. I tell myself I'm not allowed to buy any stuff like that till I run out with something. So I had to use this up before I went and purchased another one. Like before I could purchase like a, the wild one that I want. Um, yeah, and honestly, I really missed it. I've really missed it. I do have a coupon code for Wild. Um, I think the cottony one is my favourite scent. Uh, I love the limited edition ones they do, but the cotton one, like the classic cotton one, or salty caramel, I'll have it on the screen, yeah, it's beautiful. I've been converted. I've totally been converted. I can't believe it. But I still do love Dove as well. But, you know, the Wild's a lot better for your things like that, you know? Speaking of wild, I have got an Ocean Mist deodorant refill. This was a really nice one as well. I'm um, really nice actually. So yeah, love wild deodorant. It's just natural and it's it's it like the thing I'll say about wild deodorant is like a really cute creamy texture. And sometimes when you first start using it, it can be quite hard and you like rub it in. But I I feel like after the first use that goes. And it's quite creamy and I love it. I just really love it. I'm quite a sweaty person though. And I just feel like, I just love it. You can feel that it's there, but in the best way, in my opinion, you know. Depending on how thick you put it on, I suppose. But yeah, I really like it. I'll have my coupon code on the screen. I'll link it down below because I would definitely recommend it. And that time was lovely if it's still available. We've got the Scentful Aromas Daz Washing Powder like shake and vax i love scentful aromas there is never normally a uh, empties without scentful aromas and the marshmallow imperial leather but i've used no i must have used all my marshmallow because i haven't had any in a while i do have some but yeah i'm not purchasing stuff unless i use something up if you didn't know so yeah that is that i love it love it love it if you can get scentful aromas i would 100 percent recommend it we've got a big chunky ikea candle I the biggest fan of ikea candles i feel like they smell lovely in the shop when you burn them they have no scent at all um but my lovely man bought me this and it was nice enough if you put it in the smaller room so like in my bathroom it's tiny you can get like a scent for like my bathroom is actually tiny but anywhere bigger than like my bathroom it doesn't give you much of a throw but the jars are nice if you can get the wax out you could definitely use these jars for something <clears throat> We've got a Lush product. This was the Sweet Wild Orange Hand Balm. This was in like a Christmas box or something like that. And it was beautiful. I didn't use it as a hand balm. I used it as a body cream and I loved it. I've got to be careful what I put on my hands because if you don't know, I have really sensitive hands. Like my hands are the most sensitive part of my body. I think it's because of doing nails and things like that. Um, yeah, so i had i very rarely use any scented products on my hands but yeah i used this on my body and it was beautiful beautiful next we've got the blue sky cleanser solution so this is like if you use a top coat where you take and it has a sticky layer the sticky layer this is like what you would use to take the sticky layer off and i really do like it it's a cleanse prep and wipe so you can use it for your prep too which i like because it's like three and one um yeah really like this definitely would purchase it again and i probably already have purchased it again Seraphy sa smoothing cream i just used this on my top of my arms um obviously it was just a sap satchel size so i don't know whether it didn't really do anything because i obviously didn't continue to use it we've got the ted baker shimmer body wash in the midnight bloom scent i really do like ted baker product their body washes aren't my favorite but they're nice enough 
but it wouldn't be something like I chose to go out you know if I went in the shop and I was like right I'm gonna buy myself a shower gel it wouldn't be something that I would go and choose um but I don't I like getting them at Christmas and things like that you know we have we got fragrances let's have a look got a couple of fragrances we have got the ted baker violet and bergamot body mist let's have a look what you smell oh, oh. I love this. somebody was saying this smells like soap and glory i watched a video this one said that i think it was the scent and i can see it really nice i love ted baker body mist it's like they're one of my favorite products they do the feather and down pedal spray like i see is i love this i'll link this down below you need to try this if you've used like this works and things like that pillow mist they're quite pricey the list works i think this one's just as good if not better than the this works one um yeah but i've heard asda are doing a pillow mist so i'm excited to go asda and see if i can try the asda one but yeah so excited so i love that product definitely will repurchase next is the summertime fragrance this is a victor and roll flower bomb alternative fragrance and um, this is from world class fragrances so remember summertime is a victor and roll like alternative and honestly the spray out on this is like the most bizarre it's like an aerosol but not an aerosol really nice i was just using it up and i definitely would purchase a fragrance from these again i probably would purchase lots of fragrances from these i've all i've used these this brand of fragrances for alternative fragrances for years so yeah can't complain about that right let's have a look god i feel like this is never ending i'm so sorry we've got this random body lotion from body and earth really really not much to say about it it smells lovely um yeah it was a vanilla and it was a beautiful smell vanilla but it's just a body cream and body lotion i'm not the biggest fan of body lotions I like thick, thick cream lotions speaking of are you this was the body lotion that i've been using on my body lately um i'm just unwinding it unwinding it out this was from espo now this was a hand cream but it actually set my hands off the hand cream um it was neroli and green mandarin hand balm um yeah i don't know if it was a scent or some, something because very small like espo isn't it so um but i used this on my body and it was beautiful <laughs> um yeah but it set my hands off but for my body it was really nice Um, i think that was an avancanda product and all living proof now we've only got one now i definitely had the shampoo living proof shampoo and conditioner was okay nothing i would rush out and buy again my l'oreal dreamline beats this out of the water but I, living proof dry shampoo was a different matter right we've got a shaver now i put this in because i wanted to talk to you about this shaver this is the worst shaver i've ever used in my life this is like the gillette bikini shaver it's supposed to be more gentle for you and things like that honestly it's definitely gentler because it's got no sharpness to it it's like i use this obviously for what it's intended for and i felt like i couldn't shave with it uh, unless i'm just like a beast and i've got like beasty hair like on my body <laughs> this just was not strong enough um yeah not for me at all i'm gonna try maybe the friction one if you've tried any of the subscription shavers which one would you recommend let me know because i do definitely want to try them but this was like nine or ten pound and I bought because I was really excited about it. And yeah, I just wouldn't recommend it. I really wouldn't recommend it. I do want to try the scrub and the shave gel because I've heard they're amazing. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend the shaver. If you were thinking about it, I wouldn't get it. It's not worth your money. Definitely. It's like shaving with nothing. You might as well try one of the buffing pads. That's how this one was like. Not for me. And I love Venus shavers. But this was like the intimate area designed one. Um, yeah, wouldn't recommend that at all. Have any of you tried that and had that same experience? Or was it just me with my beasty hair? Um, right. So, we have got some skincare. We'll get the skincare out of the way. So, the first thing we have got is this Lancome Genifique Multi Lift Ultra Cream. I had the night cream as well. I think that was in the last empties. This was nice enough. I wouldn't 
I wouldn't go and get it though, like it was nice enough, but yeah, I wouldn't get it. I did like this though, the Lancome Rehydrating Comfort in toner, it was really nice this, but it very highly scented, um, and I'm not the biggest fan of highly scented products, like as in my skincare. And then I've got the other one, which is the blue toner, this one here, um, which is scented. I feel like this maybe wasn't, but I can't remember. But yeah, I wouldn't rush out and buy them. If I got them in a gift set, I'd maybe use them again. Maybe, definitely the pink one. Um, but ah, the scentness of everything. Wait, we've got a few more things from Lancome. This, this, thing, this skincare range, this old one, this is the Lancome Absolute. Um, I had this like the face cream the eye cream the eye serum and then the serum honestly i actually really quite like this like line it was quite nice i wouldn't say it was like amazingly nice it was mediocre night nice. i was like oh yeah i like that i wonder how much this is oh my god look it up it's like 300 pound i was like yeah no i'm sorry it's not that nice it was nice mediocre nice not 300 pound nice i mean my skin is probably not like my skin has is not looking the best you know and i was using these products um so if i was going to spend that i would just get the temple spa stuff that i really love um yeah so in my opinion nice if you get it as a gift try but i wouldn't go and purchase this absolute range from Lancome just saying like now this I'm gonna link this this honestly I've given away samples of this years ago I've used it media locally like um when I've had tiny samples and I've used the sample and then I've given a sample away because I was like yeah it's, it's nice no oh my god oh my god I'm never giving another sample of this away this is the best serum I've ever used in my life this is the and I know why this has a cold following because this has a cold following this is the Lancome Advanced Genifee Youth Activating Concentrate Serum now this is the one Lancome skincare product I will recommend I would just buy the advent calendar just for this honestly if it had that in this is amazing this is going on my christmas list i like it that much <laughs> it's amazing it's actually beautiful like next level beautiful it makes my skin look smooth it makes me look like about five years younger plump you foot oh my god you need it in your life if you can get a small size i'm going to try and see if i can find like a smaller size and link it down below if you feel like your skin is looking dull lackluster older try this just try it i don't know if it has any fighting anti-aging things in it but it definitely makes you look youthful as you're using it whether it prevents aging i honestly don't know but it definitely done something for me and i am missing it but i'm using my product so but this is definitely this little product yeah it's going on my it's going on my wish list i've never used anything so good in my life like for a long time skincare wise more skincare items and then we're on to makeup we have got the elmas soothing apricot toner it's one of my favorite toners out there really it is i love it absolutely love it this will be something i definitely repurchase i just really do like it i love elmas toners actually their toners are like one of my favorite products they do next is the kiehl's midnight recovery concentrate now wow this is some thick ass serum if you want your serum to feel like you're wearing a serum this is the stuff i know why they're saying it's a midnight recovery oil honestly it is it is some thick ass serum i didn't notice any benefits from it or anything like that so little but you definitely felt it on your skin right so this could count as a um skincare item i suppose this is the bobby brown face base vitamin and rich face base i love this stuff i've got the lacura one at the minute and it's just not the same honestly I have heard the Revolution do a one that's a dupe of this. Will you guys, if any of you have tried it, let me know if it is. Because I definitely would purchase it if it is a good dupe for this. Because this is a beautiful moisturiser that you can use as a moisturiser when you're in a rush. When you're going to put your makeup on and it doesn't affect your makeup. And sometimes I just like to use it and it smells beautiful. Yeah, I really like this. It's definitely one that will probably be on my Christmas wish list as well. I love this stuff. Love it would love a big daddy size of it <laughs> really nice definitely really understand why it's got a cult classic following next is 
the Pro Fusion Clear Brow Gel. Now I'm good at the Pro Fusion Avant Candor this year, I didn't have this in. This is the most bestest brow gel I've used this year. It just puts your brows where you want and they stay. It's so thick. They dry down to like super glue. Honestly, it's got hardly no left in. That's why it's in my empty thing. But I love it. You could do like soap brow effect with it. I wonder if they sell this as an actual product because I definitely would purchase it if it was an actual product. This was in their advent calendar last year and I loved it. Loved it. But they didn't have it in this year's. Next is a little Diddy size of the Benefit 3.5. Brow pencil, that's why my brows stay. I feel like it's a bit light. Um, yeah, but it's like tiny, so I just used it to use it up. The iconic London mascara. It's like I'm not the biggest I can't remember my latest. I'm I don't think I'm the biggest fan of this mascara, to be honest. I just don't feel like it did much. But I mean I might have been. I just honestly don't think I was. Normally I remember I have a mascara, I really like it. Another product that I really, this going on my Christmas list, this is next level good. I understand why people, I'm not the biggest fan, like I'm not the biggest follower of Charlotte Tilbury Milk Up. I've tried a couple of her things and I've been like, yeah, sorry, but this, I got this for Christmas off Sarah last year, is gorgeous. This, I want the big daddy size of it. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Mate Spray. This is even knocked Urban Decay all nighter off its pores. Now, I still love that stuff, but this is definitely up there. Love it. Love the mist. Love the bottle. Obviously, Charlotte Tilbury stuff's beautiful. I just love it. I did buy a couple from Revolution, hoping they were big dupes, but they weren't. Love this stuff. You can't, can't be it. Like, it really does what it says on the tin. It just meshes everything in beautifully. It just looks beautiful. It makes your makeup last longer. Yeah, it's just beautiful. This duo <clears throat> Forever Foundation. I am purchasing this. Next time I buy foundation, I will be buying the Dior Forever Foundation. Beautiful, beautiful foundation. Yeah, definitely would recommend. I use the shade one in. I have got a couple more samples to use up. Next is the W7 Fresh Concealer. This was just too yellow for me, so I'm just decluttering it. Um, yeah, it just last time I used it, it looked absolutely nuts. So yeah, that is a decluttery type thing. I try to use it. It's very old and anyway, so it's probably not good for you, but yeah. And that is everything. Sorry, it's so long. That is crazy. <laughs> I said it wasn't going to be long, but it was. I did go on a few tangents. Like I say, I will link... Um, things that I think are worth recommending like um down below like that Lancome serum wild deodorant I'm trying to think of something else and um, the Elmer's toner I'll link all the things that I think are like you should purchase these are things I would definitely recommend these are things I repurchase in the description box below I hope you've enjoyed this video and anyways um yeah if you like these type videos these are one of my favorite to film and one of my favorite to watch so if you do like these type videos I do them quite regular I'm quite good at going through my beauty products and um, yeah i would love you to subscribe down below if you like advent calendars i'd love it if you subscribe down below and i will see you all in my next video bye